everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would bring you just like my quick, easy summer makeup look. I have been doing this look literally every single day for the last month, month and a half, and it has been my go-to. I've switched out a couple products that I've really been loving, especially for the summer, and I'm excited to share them with you guys. If you're excited about this video, hit that like button, and also if you're a new viewer or a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, pause the video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. It really helps me out a lot, and I really do appreciate all the support here that I get from you. So thanks in advance, and let's just hop right in. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So I've already prepped and protected my skin. These are the two that I love to use. So to prime my skin, um, I will use the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. This is almost gone. I don't think I'll repurchase it. I do like it, but I really don't feel like it makes a ton of difference um, to the way that my foundation lasts. Um, it's good, but it's not the best, so I probably won't repurchase that. And then to protect my skin from the sun, I have a... SPF 50, this is the Neutrogena uh, Sheer Zinc. I love this. I don't find that it makes my foundation gray or anything like that. I know that can be kind of a struggle when you're trying to find a good foundation, or I'm sorry, a good sunscreen for your foundation, um, but this one has been really good. I really love it. Before I put on my foundation, I'm going to use the MAC Strobe Cream, just to kind of give my skin just a little bit more glisten and glow before I go with my foundation. So I'll just do a quick drop and rub that in with my fingers. And I just love like the glisten that this gives my skin. It's just my favorite. Okay, so now moving into foundation. The two that I love to mix recently is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. So I love to use a matte one because I have all of these like dewy, hydrating primers and stuff underneath so I feel like putting on a matte is perfect for me because this one I find is not super mattening um mattening is that a word <laughs> mattifying um because I think what I use underneath helps it really stay really just like natural skin like and then the other one that I use that's almost gone is the bye bye foundation this has SPF 50 as well and so yeah I just like to mix the two because I love that the bye bye. I love the way that it like sits on my skin and it has that double protection and then I love the color of the Maybelline Fit Me. So I just mix those, do a little cocktail on my hand and then dab it all over my face. So our foundation's on and love the way it looks. You can still see my skin through it, but it's nice and even complexion, which is exactly what I'm going for. Next, we are going to conceal, and I'm only going to do this a little bit just because I find that this concealer specifically makes my under eye area really dry and just the patches that I put it on if I put way too much. And this is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. I do love this stuff. It's a great dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I just put a little bit on my eyes to use as my eye primer. I don't put any under my eyes because, especially in the summer, I just want to stay very hydrated and dewy. And this concealer is a little bit thicker. And I don't have one that I'm loving for my under eyes at the moment. And I also just don't have like a ton of issues with my under eyes. I feel like they're like when I bronze and contour. I can kind of make that illusion of a highlighted center anyway, um, so I don't really need a concealer. Um, but this one, a little goes a long way. Okay, so I just put it on, again, my eyelids to prime, and then on the areas that I have a little bit more, like, spot treatment areas, and just ones that I'm more concerned with, and then we're just going to go ahead and blend that out. So that's all I'm going to do for concealer. My skin is at a pretty good stage, so I don't feel like I need to cover too much up. And again, I'm just trying to go like out the door, very easy, quick makeup. Um, so I feel good about that coverage. I am just going to quickly set it with the Lancome Absolute Powder. I love this stuff. It's not super cakey. It makes my foundation look gorgeous, and it just sets my makeup really nicely without looking like I have a ton of powder on. So I'll just do that for the eyes. 
And then because I want to stay pretty dewy, um, I'm just going to conceal, or I'm just going to powder up the places where I put that concealer. So not everywhere. So for the most part, this is our base. This is all we're going to do. Now we're going to jump into my favorite part, which is like bringing life back into the face. So we're going to jump into like our bronzer and contour situation. The bronzer that I'm going to be using is a cream bronzer. I love to switch up my bronzers and blushes to creams in the summer. It's just easier. They go on nicely. And I like to keep that like no powder look, especially with my bronzer and blushes. So I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild... Um, Mega Glow Mega Stick. It's just like their contour shade. And we're going to put this on our cheeks and then at the top of my forehead a little bit. And then I don't put that anywhere else. I don't contour my nose or anything like that. These are the four places that I'm going to put it. And then I'm going to take this Wet n Wild little brush and then we're just going to buff that out. What I love about this cream bronzer is you don't have to work like extremely fast with it. It doesn't like set in stone right then as you put it on. Um, it's really easy to work with. You can build it up if you want a little bit more color. And I just really love how it warms up my face. I just think it's a nice shade for me. Okay, there's our bronzer put on. I'm feeling like I'm back to life. I'm feeling healthy, like very tan. I love it. And then to top that off, I'm going to go in with the star of the show. This is my new favorite product that I've picked up this season. It is the Burt's Bees Olive Glow, their little cream blush. And it is in the shade Suzanne's. Not in the best shape right now um, because I just like have been using it non-stop every single day. This is my go-to blush. I just love the pigmentation and the color that it pays off. Um, and it has like in the center, it has a little bit of a nice highlight glow. Um, nothing shimmery or glittery, just a nice sheen into it. And so I really love to mix that. So I just put my finger on it, rub it in, and then pat it on my cheeks. And it is just like a stunning everyday blush. I love it. And I don't know about you guys, but I always have to like double up on my blush because I feel like I'll have so much on and then 20 minutes later it's not there anymore. So I like to just put a little bit more just so that throughout the day it stays. I just, I love it. And then I sometimes will go in with my beauty blender again and just kind of, I don't know, blend that out a little bit more blush is on and it is just stunning i love it it is like my go-to blush i cannot do my makeup without this these two have been such a game changer for me in the way that my makeup is for the summer and the nice thing about it is they're so affordable they're at the drugstore they're at target wherever you shop they're there and that's like the best part about it because i don't really use a lot of cream bronzers and blushes in the winter so it's nice to just have an affordable option for the summer that can take you out throughout the season and then I'm not going to do too much of like a powdered bronzer um, I'm just going to do a little bit just to add it back into my skin and this is the Milani baked bronzer in the shade Soleil and I love it it has little flakes of gold speckled through it which I like and again I just do a little sweep nothing too crazy and then the last part of my face is my highlighter. And I have been loving this one. As you can see, it's broken. <laughs> Very well loved. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade... The little wrapper came off, or the package. So I don't have the exact shade, but I love it. It's a nice pinky tone that I feel like ties nicely with the blush. Um, so I just pop that on the tops of my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead. I still love a highlighted forehead and then on my nose as well. And I just love this stuff. So this is the face completed, done. Now we're gonna pop on to our eyes and our brows. I am doing a horrible challenge where I'm not spending any money for the month of July, um, just to kind of get back in check, you know, challenge myself. So I haven't been able to get my eyebrows done and it has been the hardest thing ever because they're atrocious. So I'm just um, quickly running a brush through. This is the CoverGirl um, 
just, it doesn't say anything other than CoverGirl. It's just, it's almost like the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love that one. But this has been such a great dupe. And I have mine in the shade Rich Brown. And so, because I have such a nice, big, full, fluffy, outgrown brow, I'm just going to add a couple strokes just to fill them in a little bit. Um, but we're kind of going to go with that messy brow look. Okay. I sped that through because brows are brows and I just didn't feel like talking you guys through how I do them, especially in the state that they're in. I'm just going to quickly set them with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I've been using this for a while. This is probably like my fourth tube of this. I really like it. It works. I'm not super fussy about eyebrow gels. Um, I don't know. I just don't have like a huge investment in my brows besides like getting them done. I don't know. They're just like there to me, you know? <laughs> um, next I'm going to go into my eyes. This has been my go-to palette for so long. I don't think, I was originally going to do a video all about this, but then I just didn't and now it's been too long. But this is the Zoella X Colourpop Brunch Date Palette and this is my favorite palette. Not only is it Zoella and I love her, um, but it's just such a nice shade range. It's so easy to wear. As you can see, I've never dipped into this blue, but <laughs> regardless, I really love it. So I'm going to take this shade right here, which is Champagne Toast, and I'm going to put this all over my lid and just give a nice, it kind of almost resembles my highlighter shade, just that nice champagne pinky undertones. Um, so I'm going to throw this all over the lid just for a nice, simple, like, sheer lid and then I'm going to pop into a shade right here which is Mimosa. I love this shade. I also really love to use maple syrup right here but for today I'm going to just use a little bit of Mimosa and then just throw this in my crease. Now this is kind of backwards. Normally I would do my crease but when I'm in a hurry I just like to get my lid shade all over and then pop on my crease over top and it's been working really nicely for me and it, like when I'm trying to get out the door, it works. And then lastly, um, I'm not going to fuss around a ton with liner or anything like that. I'm just going to quickly line my lash line with this dark brown here, which is French Toast. And I just throw this along my lash line. And that just, I feel like, brings my eye a little bit more to life. And again, it just doesn't take any time. And you can be messy with it, which I like, because then you just buff it out. Just a nice, easy trick. So those are our eyes. Super easy, very cute. It makes me feel like I did something but didn't have to spend a whole lot of time on them. And then for mascara, I got sent the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume in my little influencer box and I have been loving this. I didn't think I would ever shy away from my, what is it called? Essence? My Essence Extreme little cheapo mascara that I absolutely love, but this has been one of my favorites. And just because I can't not use this, I'm just going to go over top really quickly. This is the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. One of my favorites ever. So I'm just going to pop this on. And I'll throw a little bit on the bottom lash. I don't want to do too much because I don't have any shadow down there. Um, but I want a little something. Okay, that is my entire face done. I feel very summery, very glowy. The last thing that I am going to throw on is a lip, and this is the, I think this is Maybelline? Yeah, this is the Maybelline Beige Babe Lipstick, and I've been so obsessed with this. It's the perfect pinky nude shade for me. It's very comfortable to wear. It lasts a long time. I love it. In the summer, I feel like I either go with a very glossy lip gloss look or just a nice cream lipstick. I don't do any like long wearing mattifying lip. I just feel like that's not my look in the summer. And this has been my go-to. Maybelline, their cream lipsticks have been one of my favorites for such a long time. And so I go between two shades. I have a different mauve shade that I really love by them. Um, but this has so far 
done the job for me. Pairs nicely with my eyes. And that is my look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of seeing how I quickly get out the door. This has been every single day. This is exactly what I'm wearing, the products that I've been using and loving. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.